Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, My Luxury Stories here. For those returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning back. And for those that are new, hi. Um, I do all kinds of luxury related um, unboxings, reviews here on my channel. Um, so if you're interested for that kind of content, please subscribe. And let's get right into the video. So as you can see from today's title, I will be reviewing my Saint Laurent, my YSL monogram small envelope wallet. This is in the uh, Grain de Poudre uh, embossed leather. And um, I have had this one for almost three years now. So I thought it was a more than sufficient time for me to um, you know, sit down and review this beautiful little small leather good. So before let I get started, let me just give you a couple of the dimensions and what are the features of this um, wallet. So it's 100% calfskin leather, um, hence the durable. You can also see it, it's, um, I can see the grains and you can see that it's calfskin. The dimensions are 5.3 inches, 3.7 inches, and the depth is around 1.1 inches. If someone is interested in the centimeters, I can go over that as well. That's around 13 and a half centimeters for a length. That's nine and a half centimeters for the width, and I'm talking about three centimeters in depth, right? Um, it is, of course, the gold-toned, beautiful YSL hardware. There's a snap front closure here. Um, we have an external back slot pocket as well, which is really handy if you want to, uh, you know, slot in some receipts like I have. There are four um, credit card slots inside. There is one main big compartment in which you can see I have some cash. And um, yeah, it's a made in Italy piece um, as stamped here at the back with the St. Laurent Paris logo. Right, so um, let me go over some pros and cons of the wallet before, um, you know, I mean, uh, yeah, like, let me start off with the pros and cons actually. So pro number one is the amount of space that this little wallet has. Um, I've seen card holders from Chanel, I've seen um, the Rosoli, um, excuse me for pronouncing it wrong, the coin purse from Louis Vuitton. Um, they're around, they're, they're like the same features or the same, um, you know, um, wall style. This one offers the most space, in my opinion, for the uh, least amount of money out of the three fashion houses. As you can see, there are only four credit card slots. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to show you guys how many cards I have in here. And I'm going to pull out all of them and then put them back with you so you guys can see that though there are four credit card slots, there's quite a bit of space. And um, what really sold me was the back pocket because this is like an external... Um, feature that if for example if you have um, you know you need to tap in somewhere like an access card so you could just slip that in or like your everyday supermarket or like train cards right um, I have like for example I have a receipt here so I need this like for some exchange that I need to go for later on so I've just like slotted this back here so let's take out all the cards that I have in here and we'll count as we go so I have one I have two have some cash in here three four five six so for now I have oh sorry there's one more seven so for now I have seven cards in here and um, this one I use alongside my um, you know LV card holder um, so I have my main ID and my credit cards in there and this is something I carry for like car extra cards and cash so as I counted with you guys I have um, I had seven cards in there and I had some change right I have some cash in there so that's quite a bit of you know that that's that's quite a lot of space in here and um, in terms of the card holder it's like the card slots expanding yes they've definitely opened up over the few years that i've had this for but i don't remember me even trying to even like budge in my cards when i initially got this it, there was sufficient space for me to if not you know if if i couldn't fit in an extra card initially with the slots i just slid it in the middle so i'll just quickly show you how i you know what you can also do that and and hence still have quite a bit of space um, for other cards if you wanted to slot them into the um you know credit card slots themselves 
So let me just fold all this cash quickly and slot it in so that I can show you that yes, there is so much space. See, it's all nice and neat inside. So for me, this is the number one pro. And the amount of space this little guy has to offer. And honestly, I don't even need to carry my card holder with this. The four slots that I have, I could have my two IDs and I could have my credit card and my debit card in there. And I'm good to go. It's just that I don't like to overstuff these little small leather goods because I do worry about, you know, expanding them too much or the corner wear, um, you know, rubbing off. So, um, I mean, they're so compact anyway. So even if you have two, they, they slip and slide very easily into smaller bags. Right. So definitely the space for the amount of money this, um, you know, little guy has to offer. This retails for a little more than 500 Singapore dollars right now. Um, and um, surprisingly the price has not changed so when I got this in 2018 I also paid five hundred and twenty dollars to be precise so it's amazing that the price on this has not changed number two is um, the durability of this little guy um, you know there are no corner marks here there are no scuffs at all I don't see any wear and tear and I have abused this a lot I take this little guy when I'm traveling the only wear and tear I have is if I can show you guys is right at the here right at the point of the front or the upper flap there's a little um, scuff on the leather and I'm not surprised because I've used this little guy so much. I think when I'm constantly opening and closing it, um, that's kind of left this little mark here. Yeah, I think you guys can see it right here. It's just this little, and that's the only wear and tear I have here. There's nothing else that I could complain about. Um, the logo is as shiny as it was when I got it. I don't see any prominent scratches on the hardware um either so that's good to go and um on when the inside is like really nice and clean there's nothing at all that i need to worry or complain about here so durability has been excellent you can see even the corners here when i'm closing this because of the constant closing there is nothing here either there's no wear and tear at all on the corners they're so nice and they're so um perfect so definitely durability has to be uh, something that's taken me by surprise and it really encourages me to get this in another color. So maybe, most probably, I might go and look at it in another color as well. And um, let me just show you the back slot as well here. The back slot is nice and um, even. It's not bulging out either, though I have put in receipts from here time to time. But as you can see, it's nice and compact, right? Okay. Um, I think there's just one little con if I were to discuss the, um, you know, uh, if I have to be pretty picky about um, the uh, wallet itself. Um, I kind of refrain from putting this into my uh, bags which are lined with leather. For example, my Chanel Jumbo. I haven't used this wallet in there yet because I worry that these corners are sharp. So I really don't want my leather to be scratched or anything. And like, for example, I had popped this into my Gucci Dionysus bag and um, that suede, right, the interior. So um, when I would close the bag, the wallet would, of course, you know, um, line up against the suede inside and it would be pushed as well because there would be other things. And the Dionysus I have is a small size anyway. And it did leave a few indents. Now, because that was suede, I could just buff it out and it was all good. But um, because these corners are sharp, like I just said, I would not advise anyone to put this in a leather, uh, you know, interior um, coated uh, handbag. So maybe just fabric or maybe if it's a tote that you have, like, for you know, that's just loose so that your things are floating around. But if it's a smaller handbag where, you know, things are going to be pushed from, um, you know, to the uh, surface of the bag, then maybe just avoid this. So yeah guys, I mean that was my little mini review on this. Um, I, I can't um, you know praise this little guy more than enough. The stitchings are just so beautiful on this. Um, it really shines. It's as new as it was uh, when I first got it from the store. And I'm just checking on my uh, phone the other uh, styles and the other uh, you know colors that it comes in. It comes in a 
beautiful burgundy it comes in you know a beautiful poudre color is which i have my eye on it comes in a beautiful uh you know black with the silver the dark beige there's the blanc uh you know white the, the blanc vintage as uh, ysl calls it there's just so many colors right so um it's a beautiful piece and uh i really think that um i might pick up another one because of um you know how much the quality and um you know the durability of this has surprised me so yeah i hope you guys like this video and please subscribe for more luxury related content and i will see you in my next one bye guys